Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Frost and Fire. So, it has been a little while since I played last, because my last few episodes were pre-recorded. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is to explain the drop and trade beacons yet one more time. And the reason for this is there was a lot of confusion, and I'd like to clear it up. So, the bait beacon out here doesn't matter if it's powered or not. Uh, what matters is whether the beacon is unroofed, has space next to it, and was installed first or second. So um, I can demonstrate this principle uh, next time I get a orbital trader to pass by. I plan on uh, demonstrating Probably, effectively, the best way, and this was found by Mr. Chimic. He's a uh, member of my community who helps me do development stuff. Uh, probably the best way to use a bait beacon. Arguably. So, I will get that set up. Another thing I wanted to do is to... Uh, start to make kibble out of all this insect meat. And also, with the temperatures rising the way they are... Uh, I am rightfully worried that I don't have enough cooling in this area, given that um, I needed all these coolers for this area. So what I'm going to do over here is um, modify this spot to be cooled more, uh, or uh, I guess. So I'm going to put a door um, here, probably. To the chimney and then replace um, to have five coolers in here. I hope five's enough. If it's not, uh, I'll have to panic and make do. We will see. Another thing I'm going to do is to change all my crops over to rice, do a giant, giant run of rice, and get my research benches back on and finishing noble apparel. Because Raptor here wants noble apparel. And he's going to fuss about it until he gets it. Now, I haven't given the crabs a name, and there's a reason for that. I don't think I'm keeping them, sadly. I think I'm going to uh, be getting rid of them. And the reason being, they just eat too much. And I don't want to feed them. And they don't provide enough benefit for the food that they uh, use up. So I'm uninstalling this beacon and then I'm going to immediately reinstall it so I know it's not the first beacon I've installed. That's important. So the way, the way this works is that drops, uh, both trade and raiders, will go to the first or the oldest installed beacon that has... Uh, roofed up space around it. So, right now my oldest beacon is this, but it's all roofed. Which means that this is my unroofed, my oldest unroofed beacon. And what I can do is if I want to do an orbital to trade, I can remove the roof on here, trade, the trades will drop in here, and then put the roof back. That's probably the best way to manage this. I'm also going to do some other little changes to my kill box and all that. Another thing I wanted to do is the restricted animal hauling, or unrestricted animal hauling, stay away from the um, the mech cluster. And then let's also add in an avoid to avoid this mech cluster. And schedule everybody to avoid it. So that when it wakes up, it doesn't get a free kill on me. Uh, animals. Stop training the crabs to haul. Don't bother. I 
I did bring back a ton of cloth with me. So one thing I'm going to do is start to make my royal room, my uh, throne room a little nicer. And widen my kill box just a tinge. This is all still temporary, mind you. <laughs> Caught her eyes of sleeping. In here. That's uh, that's funny. So let's have Gabe. What are you doing? Compacting. Okay, compacted steel's fine. I'm going to have you haul this stuff back, though. All right. I think what's going to be important, Noble Peril, is now done. Let's get transport pods. Maybe fabrication. Let's go back to fabrication. Okay. No longer training the baby crabs. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to start to set up my base so that I am building, um, or making kibble, not building kibble. So I'm making kibble. A go frenzy, or shoot frenzy for Gabe, that's going to be mighty nice. Yeah, so the, the cooler here is, uh... It's starting to heat up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that this is my newest priority. Trying to keep the uh, insect meat cold. Went to a lot of effort to acquire it. It'd be a it'd be a real shame if uh, I ruined it. There's one and two and drop this down to some frozen temperature. So the other ones are, I'm going to bring it down to negative two. So well below freezing. And I'll add more coolers if I need to. Hopefully I won't. Uh, let's also get the heaters in Raptor's bedroom uh turned off and then all of these coolers up here I'm gonna set to 60 degrees Fahrenheit and these as well to 60 just so that things are, are very very chilly so if you take a look uh, the temperature of the bedrooms and all that should start to drop a little bit okay and this room here is sufficiently cold which is good So here, I'm going to allow butchering um, insects, but I'm also going to make kibble. I'm going to make kibble only out of fowl meat. I guess if I have human meat, I'll do it out of human meat too. But only out of fowl meat, and no animal products either, and all vegetables. And this, I'm going to make forever. Uh, I'm going to drop the kibble in a stockpile that goes here. This is going to be a normal or low quality or low priority stockpile. And then here, I'm going to put kibble there. So when we make kibble, we bring it to the kibble stockpile and then it will eventually get hauled where it belongs. So I have everything turned over to rice so that I can just make an enormous amount of kibble. I'd like to turn all of the insect, uh, the, the fowl meat into kibble because kibble doesn't rot from temperature. And then I don't need this freezer. Or at least not as critical that I have it. Okay, this turret should be placed here. 
kind of high priority. It stops sappers. Or doesn't stop them, but it dissuades sappers, I should say. Uh, my kill box is done. Obviously, it does not have big turrets yet. I'll get those in um, once I have a renewable source of, like, plasteel and uranium. I do have a u renewable source of uranium, but it's, um, given the temperature, it's not a source that I can really use uh, right now. And here is, I think, the aerial mech cluster. So it's assembling pikemen. And unfortunately for me, it has an auto mortar. Which is going to start firing on me immediately. Yeah, there's really no time to wait here. So I'm going to send my guys out to destroy the auto mortar. Well, that's annoying. As far as avoid goes, I'd like to avoid getting shot here, so... And then the unrestricted crab zone, likewise, will avoid the area. Now this has a proximity timer, and probably a countdown timer, but it doesn't really matter because the auto mortar doesn't abide by these things. The auto mortar just starts shooting... Um, sort of regardless of its uh, countdown. So what I want to do is I want to set my shooters up um, so that they can fire... Oh, okay. Uh, not yet. Don't fire at will. So that they can all fire on the mortar at the same time. Okay. And... Get rid of that mortar. Okay, so it can fire in 50 seconds. It should be destroyed by then. Good. Let's get back to the base. Before these uh, scythers catch me. Let's leave the front door open. Uh, JD... I'm going to have you break away and help to shoot. Okay, ones might make it through. Gabe, you're not in good shape. JD, go into the base. Raptor, turn around and help. Alright, JD, I just want you to don't no, travel south. There we go. Or actually go through here. Come on, land your shots. Oh good, the uh it's blind now. When you are too close to a um, a, scyth a scyther like this, you kind of don't hit very accurately. Certain weapons are very inaccurate at point blank, like the ones I'm using. All right, so now the scyther has to go through the maze, and the auto mortar won't be nuking us, which is great. It will be assembling um, mechanoids periodically to mess with us, but that's a uh, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, so that we don't bleed inside the base, I'm just going to have Gabe uh, rest here and have Raptor patch him up. So we don't, we're not, you know, bleeding in the base because there's only one bloody wound. It's fine. Ooh, Angelia's getting sheared. And Cauterize, I see you going after my beer. Uh, what I'm going to need to do is have a corner. I'm going to designate the corner here. I'm going to have a corner for alcohol. I'm going to call it consumables. Have it be preferred. Um, that manufactured drugs go here. I'm trying to think of what else they might drink. That might be enough.
Alright, I have a bunch of steel, so let's just shred this thing. Done. Okay. Auto mortar neutralized. I was very lucky with the layout of the steel walls. I could have alternatively used the call aid uh, for the aerodrone strike or something like that. Um, there was some alternatives that I could have used to, to, you know, prevent uh, a catastrophe of... Alright, so another important thing that I'm going to need to make is sniper rifles. I'm going to make uh, three sniper rifles um, so that if I have to fight centipedes, I can outrange them easily. So that is going to be JD's job. It also means that I can shred the uh, the scythers. Uh, so as, as far as the avoid zone, I'm going to expand it significantly just to play it very, very, very safe um, so that nobody goes near the cluster. And then the unrestricted uh, hauling zone, likewise, expand it so that no one goes near this cluster. And I, I will have pikemen periodically get... Um, uh, basically spawn and, and come attack me, but, you know, this is not that big of a deal for me. Okay, so all this spare uh, rice is going to allow us to crank out a whole bunch of kibble. And... The crabs are welcome to eat the kibble. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them stay off the bench here. Let me update their zones. There. Um. Just to make it look cleaner, I can also uh, disallow the, the walls. Don't have anything else going on right now, so. May as, may as well have it look as clean as I can. Oh, actually, that's not true. Unrestricted. Okay, there we are. Um, okay, that looks good. Here comes the sniper rifles so that we can outrange enemies if we need to. Um, so this consumables, cauterize is now hauling to, uh, but what I'm going to do is not allow this corner to be, uh, used by the crab or any pets so that animals can haul booze into the stockpile, but then, um, things, consumables like beer will pu be put aside so that the uh, the crab can't consume it for calories or whatever. That's going to be pretty important in the long run. Okay, we are definitely... Making a whole lot of kibble. So, in the Mega Spiders, I'm also going to allow kibble to be stored up here as well. Um, this is going to be... Alright, it's already set to important. And now we'll slowly turn all the mega spiders and the foul meat into kibble uh, so that it doesn't rot. It's protected from rot. Great. 
Bash, I'm sure you need rest. <laughs> let me let you rest. This is not a particularly dangerous um, mech cluster, except for the fact that it's got a lot of little turrets. But the little turrets themselves don't do a ton of damage. Like, Bash might be able to solo clear the whole thing himself. If given the opportunity. Okay, Gabe's helping with the hauling. And now our crabs have access to um, Kibble, and that helps to spread my requirements for feeding them out a little bit. Let's also merge the herbal meds. Great. So we're still researching fabrication, and then I'll probably want to get medicine production, which means getting drug production, uh, so that I have better meds. I only have eight regular meds, and I could truly use more than eight. And in fact, I don't have a dedicated hospital yet, and I'm probably not going to bother doing one until I have, um, uh, until I have, you know, sterile tiles and hospital beds and all that. But what I can do is at least store my high quality medicine in my base in case of emergency. Oh, I had 10 fine meals just spoil. That sucks. That's because, uh, it's too hot. Okay, so we are going to periodically have pikemen come down and mess with us. That's fine. Alright, so now my cooler's the right temperature. And Bash, I need you to keep this door open to lure... Okay, shot, Gabe. That seemed close. All right, let's lure him in. I don't mind uh, taking shots. Just don't want to shoot that far. Oh, uh, this door needs to be open. Okay, here we go. All right, now that I'm a valid target, it can path to bash. It should get a lot closer. Yada, 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 yada. And this is an opportunity for Bash to become a better Basher. So, I'm not going to use my turrets. I'm going to save the steel and build skills. Useful. Oh, wow. All right. Done. Jeez. Cut the brain out with your plasma sword. Well, talk about efficiency. That right there. Dread. Deadly. Deadly efficient. Um... Okay, I'm going to have these guys go for a little wood hauling. So I don't leave it out here. I can picture the storyteller going, Hey, you know what would be fun? A flash storm. And just like hitting it with lightning or something. And destroying it. Cargo pods. Of cloth. Unfortunately for me, I'm going to keep them forbidden because they are on the other side of this. Um, there's really not a good way to get... Actually, I would go so far as to say... It's impossible to get there. So, let me expand my avoid zones. Because... Oh no, we could... Well, no. We, we can't reasonably get there in a, you know, a reasonable amount of time. Because this... Yeah. So there's... An updated zone. Basically, just don't go up here. And the unrestricted crab hauling, I'll have... Duplicate. Hopefully I get some Reapers to attack me, and uh, the mech clusters will do their mech clustery thing and clear it out for me. How is your blood rot? 36%? Okay. Next, I'll tend to you with herbal.
Why are we storing foul meat out there? Uh, okay, hold on. No foods out here. Foul meat could be stored here. Yeah, I don't actually know why. I think it was because the crab hauled it out there. It's fine. It's an isolated incident. The Thoughtful Prisoners. Uh, two prisoners, 23 days, two large mech clusters, and I can accept it for goodwill. Giddy, who is not useful at all, or honor. Uh, two prisoners, you say? Okay. Can do. Capture. Capture. I'm going to keep them here. Um, I'm going to move their beds up to the corner here. And let's go ahead and put some staining lamps. And then... Some tables for them. Uh, they are going to eat simple meals. Cool. Defaults. Our colonist. Okay. Maybe I'll have Bash do the building. Okay, there we go. So now they both have tables and stools, and that might keep them from revolting or whatever. Excellent and good stools. Okay, great. So Stonewall, Chemical Fascination Brawler, tough. Uh, so if he tries to break out, uh, he's going to be annoying because he's going to be being tough in a brawler. He'll be hard to take down. The other one is going to be easy to take down. <laughs> Listen to that. Woo. All right. And Bash is just cranking out the kibble. Ooh, ouch. So, yeah, it's superheated air in there. I'm going to try to quickly take the, uh, the stones out. So I have four spots, so in the, in the winter, I can have all four people fit in there. But right now, it's not all that useful. Here comes another pikeman. Cauterize, go to crabs. Leave the front door open. And helper outsourcing. One colonist for 11 days. Uh, lackey. Are you any good? Transhumanist depressive. I'd have to put a lot of transhumanist parts in him. He's a good fighter, oh, but he's also very old. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. Um, I might pass on the whole quest altogether. Because it is a long time to lose a colonist. Whoa, 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 boy. That was close. Yeah, let's remove the roof first. And actually, you're going to come up here and help engage in the fight. Okay. I am risking myself. Obviously, I could be using my turrets, but I'd rather just do the fighting myself so that I build up fighting skills. And again, did not take very long. We chopped the thorax out. So no problem there.
all this new rice. Okay, so these mechs woke up, but they're not going to do anything because I haven't, I haven't aggroed them or anything. I could shell them, but there's really not much of an advantage for me to waste my material, especially if they will potentially protect me from uh, reapers. And here are my little um, prisoners that I'm hosting for uh, three more weeks. Oh, need material cloth. Um, okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to turn a few of these into cloth. Right now, it's an und undignified uh, throne room, uh, which is kind of stupid because... Here, let me just cancel that and uh, and just throw in concrete. It's going to look a little ugly, but uh, it will make Raptor happier. And it's extremely impressive, so. I've seen worse. Okay, let's clean up a bit. Let's clean up a lot. The base got honestly unreasonably filthy. Having all these... Having so much work to do and so few people. I'm not that willing to add bad um, pawns, bad characters. Like, I'm not that desperate for a workforce that I will willingly commit to accepting someone relatively useless. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, suspend the butchering of bugs for now. Because we're running out of space to store the kibble. And here's another fertilized egg. So, I guess we we will be selling um, crabs. That will be our business. As odd as it sounds. We will be crab sellers. And let's build the geothermal. My steel's looking f just fine. And let's go ahead and get some lights in these rooms. Oh, here comes another pikeman. We already know the drill. Alright, I don't think I really have room for kibble at the moment. Uh, but... <clears throat> huh. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. The uh, the temperature of this room is teeter tottering on too warm, which has me worried. And another mech cluster, a psychic suppressor. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, well, fortunately, it's on the other side of the wall, so it's nowhere close to me. Fabrication is done. Let's get drug production. Where are you going, Pikeman? Stop. Ooh, we shot it in the head. Down it goes again. They're not very, uh, <laughs> they're not very hardy. As you might have noticed. Okay. It, the temperature is okay as long as nobody's coming and going, I guess. It's something to keep an eye on, though, for sure. As far as uh, wardening goes, let's reduce resistance to work on our social skills with Raptor. And have Raptor... Yeah, have Raptor... Oh, no, with... um Yeah, with Raptor. Shuttle has arrived for aerial. Set to load, aerial. And let's load up the shuttle. And just a little reminder to all of you, um, the benefit of this is honor. So send. And 
now, um, Raptor is a Praetor. Or, I mean, will be once uh, I clear the map of, uh, of mech clusters. And I'll be able to, you know, get more abilities and uh, that kind of thing. Pretty good stuff. All right, so these little pr prison cells are mediocre. That's fine by me. Uh, a lot of it is just because they're very cramped as a result of the... Um... Well, actually... Hmm. I could make them larger. I'm going to make them stylized in a weird way, but larger. Okay, so we have the throne room updated for Raptor. Uh, we just don't have the, um, the required uh, clearing of the mech clusters. All right, now the bedrooms are lit. And what I'm doing here is, I know the, it looks a little weird. I just wanted them identical. I don't want to remove this because this is outdoor wall, but I will make these bedrooms a little bit larger to be a little bit more comfortable. All right, their blood rot is totally fine. So now, as you can see, it's rather tight rather than cramped, which is better. And I'll just keep uh, rearranging these lovely rooms. And yeah, it's going to cost me uh, a good bit of productivity. Um, having Raptor do social training stuff with them. Uh, but I, I'd like to think it's worth it. Alright, so there we go. It's... Uh, Nice and, I don't know, I, it's nice and symmetrical-ish. Right? Ooh, we have an infestation. Well, we know how to deal with these at this point. Um, let's bring everyone into action. Ban or, uh, Raptor, you are going to grab the Molotovs. And go over here. And then, GD, you're going to start working on this wall. Actually, not that wall. Uh, let's make a wall here and here. The fire is kind of unnecessary um, because it's already really, really, really hot. So... They're going to heat stroke anyway. I'm just speeding up the process. But if we need to feed crabs, uh, I do think that we will have a lot of meat. No, actually, the, the problem, funny enough, will be having too much. All right, so I'm going to throw the Molotovs uh, when it's time. So I'm just walling them in so they can't get out as easy. Uh, yep. That was a terrible throw. I want these doors to burn. Okay, that's probably good enough. Back we go. Raptor, switch your gun. Actually, switch to the sniper rifle. And, uh, force wear the smoke pop belt. 
And here comes another pikeman. Okay. I will allow uh, kibble to be stored out here, I guess, as a spillover. All right, now as you can see, they're they're cooking already. Uh, Gabe, beating the fire. How how are you how are you planning on getting there, Gabe? <laughs> it's beyond a wall. It's behind a wall. He's like, oh, let me go fight the fire. It's like, dude, you, you're never gonna get there. All right, I'm gonna cancel these because I clearly haven't done them in a while. Uh, Bash. I want you to, let's go actively hunt this pikeman. Just for fun, while these bugs burn. Yeah, they're already, they're already on fire. I hope two walls is enough, I could have done three. Taking a look. All right, the freezers are still frozen. I guess th that matters. It's 1800 degrees in here. Um, so, well, 1800 degrees in here. Oh, because these doors still exist. I see. And Aurora, awesome. Okay, on we go. Gonna have Bash lead a little bit so he's the first shot at. So his shield belt works. I think we just shot Bash's shield belt. And done. Yep, yeah, just a little bit of a bruise. To the head, though. That's annoying. Alright, as soon as one of these doors burned down completely, uh, these bugs are going to be... Yep. They're in a bad way now. I have 120 uh, crab chitin. Uh, so, let's go make another duster. Alright, yep, it is not yet super, super hot here, but it's getting there. Yeah, these guys are already, yep, unconscious. I'm just going to let them full burn. I could break down the walls and keep them as a source of food, but as you can see, I simply don't have space. I guess I have some space in my freezer here, but not actually that much. If I'm being perfectly honest. Um, I feel like it's wasteful not to do this. So, yeah, let's do it. So now I can be in here safely because it's outdoors technically. Because I broke all the, uh, all the walls and everything. No, 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 what are you doing? Go here. Uh, I'm going to need to... Put the fires out. I could also leave one uh, hive up to sort of farm insects if I wanted to. Alright, and then another important thing is to put the doors back in. Stash of goodies expired? Yeah, no problem. So I have one, um, chances are, 
chances are it won't really matter because it will expire. Uh, so the jellies here, uh, raw food, animal project products, insect jelly. Let's haul because that stuff sells for a lot of money. And then I already built a door, so it's technically indoors, which means it won't decay. Drug production's done. Uh, next up, let's get medicine. Our medicine stockpile is terrible. So we'll get that going. So these guys up here are going to rot kind of quickly. Um, and it's going to be challenging to stop the rot. Uh, but, you know, I will work as fast as I can. However, I'm out of time, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Now that I'm back, I can incorporate your feedback in real time. So if there's anything that you write down that I really like, uh, well, I'll use it. And I will give you a shout out. If you'd like to join Discord, Rodamont.com has the link to that if you'd like to discuss. I'll catch you all next episode. Farewell, everybody.